Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and we're going to learn Last Resort, and we're going to rock it on the Boss Katana right here. In fact, I have a patch for this song that you can download. I have a link down in the description for the amp and the song patch, so you don't need any effects or anything, and you get an authentic sound. And also, the Boss Katana is great, totally affordable, so check it out, and let's learn the tune. All right, we're going to go to Drop D Tuning. <laughs> And then we're gonna play these power chords that are kind of weird shapes, but they're they're drop D kind of power chords. So it's ring finger on the nine of the E, what's been tuned down to D. I'm just gonna refer to it as the E string, but index finger on the seven of the A. And then pinky on the nine of the D. Now if you wanted to use middle index and ring. You can do that too. So that's the shape for this whole intro uh, chord part. So if that's the ninth fret right there and you keep the shape, you can go nine to seven to five and then four to seven. So nine, five, four, seven, so that's the chords underneath the famous riff. All right, so now what we wanna do is just look at this little thing here on the 10th fret with the middle finger on the A string. So I'm going 10, 9, 10. So this is kind of the like little bass position where every, I think the whole riff uh, revolves around. So it's that middle finger on the 10th fret of the A string with the index finger resting behind it. But the first note of the lick is actually back here. So you're gonna go like. So it's like a quick little hop back, but then the rest of it stays right here. So that seventh fret A string, then middle finger on the 10th fret of the A string, and we go. 10, 9, 10, so. Then, part of this pattern, we now go to nine on the D string with the index finger, so. Then right back to 10, 9, 10. So. Now, it does that same pattern, but the first note's different, it's now 12th fret on the E, and I'm using my pinky. So seven is the first one. Then 12 on the E, followed by that same pattern. Exact same thing. Do it nice and slow. Next note, starting note, is 10th fret, and I recommend using your index finger for it. 10th fret right there, right back to that same pattern. And then finally, the 9th fret of the E as the first note with the same pattern following. So, once again to recap, seven on the A string, this pattern. Then 12th fret E string, followed by the same pattern. Then 10. Then nine. You'd start building that up. And then so for when it breaks into those verses, you just kind of dig in with the meat of your right palm to get that more, you know, percussive palm muting, just that cool break it down, new metal style.
And so on the last, you go through that, and then eventually you get to... So when you play that riff, when you're about to hit that ninth fret of the riff, here it comes. Instead of following through with the riff, you play the power chord, the one finger D drop power chord, covering that ninth fret. And then up to the 12. And then up to the 14, and we're in the chorus now, so it's like... So to start it, it would be the 9th fret power chord to 12, and then we're up at 14 for the losing my side, then to 10, my mind. then we do an octave on the 9 of the A uh, with the 11 on the G, everything else is muted, so that'd be 9 and 11, up a half step, up a whole step. 12 and 14, back to 9 and 11. So 10th, uh, I'm sorry, 14th fret power chord, 10th, and then the octave. After it goes through the form one time, the next time through, it goes to another pro chord progression, which is the 14th fret to the 10th fret, very similar before. But now the 5th fret to the 9th fret. So it does this twice, so 14 to 10, and then 5 to 9. Then it does another new progression, which is still on 14, but all the way to five. So, and the rhythm is one, two, you know, downbeat, da, 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 boom, one. So the rhythm change feels and it's 14 to five. One, five. 10, 9, so at the end, they're playing the classic chorus. There's one little part that they do. So all 
all that's going there is it's the 14th fret power chord. 10th. And they just get into that uh, deep palm muting metal chug. And so it's that open D string, you know, tuned down. And the octave, you can do a D power chord right there. Right into that again. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Also, huge shout out to Boss for letting me teach it to you using the Boss Katana. Once again, you can check out the link for the song patch and the app itself in the description below. Uh, also, thanks for subscribing here to Marty Music. Clicking that bell notification really helps me out. So thank you so much. Uh, also, just hope to see you in another video, hopefully sooner than later. <laughs>